With more or less every helmet manufacturer updating all their helmets to the new ECE 2206 certification, it was also time for Shoei to update their Neotech series. So now we have in our hands the new Neotech 3. Let's take a look. Now I'm very excited to hold the new Neotech 3 in my hands because for the past four and a half years the Neotech 2 has been my go-to helmet for pretty much every ride and it served me well. I've been very happy with it, it's a great helmet and as many riders will know it is one of the best if not the best flip-up helmet you could buy in the past five years. Now when looking at the new Neotech 3 I'm not seeing any revolutionary changes but there are still quite a few tweaks that have been added to the helmet and they do make it that little bit better. Now some things haven't changed and you could say never change a winning team but there is one thing that I would have liked to have seen and that would be four shell sizes instead of three. Well I've already said it, it has three shell sizes, it comes in the same material as the Neotech 2 did which is the AIM plus material which is multiple layers of different type of fibres added together to make a strong but lightweight helmet. We still have the same EPS inner shell and most of the design from the Neotech 2 is still intact. Some things are missing like the spoilers on the front of the chin, we're seeing a different air intake on the front, different one on the top, and the shape of the helmet is just slightly different. It's a little bit more round in my opinion, but it has a few more grooves and aerodynamic lines on the shell itself to make the wind pass the shell in a better way. Um, so I'm very curious to see what that will do on the road. We are going to take it out in just a few moments, but before we do that let's dive into some of the specifications. Now as with quite a few new ECE 2206 helmets we're seeing the central locking mechanism on the visor which means you open and close the visor on the front centrally and no longer on the left side of the helmet. Um, in a way I was quite used to that because of the Neotech 2 um, and many other helmets that actually had that. Um, but this is not a bad thing, I actually really like it and what's good about this is that because you're opening it centrally you're not going to be wearing down one side of the mechanism which is going to you know, make the visor eventually tilt to one side a little and because of that will let in more noise and possibly even some rain when it's bad weather. Something you don't really want. One thing I'm happy to see is that the vent on the front has two notches just like the one on the top does which is pretty much what you'd expect but the Neotech 2 had a big pet lip that opened in one go and did let in quite a lot of air actually, it was quite, well, it was refreshing but also noisy, so I'm hoping that this is going to be a little bit better on this one. The visor is still more or less the same, still pretty round, looks well sealed just like on the Neotech 2, obviously it is a different visor because now we have the opening in the middle instead of on the side. Still comes with a Pinlock Evo which is the best type of Pinlock you can get and obviously it's a Max Vision one so it covers the full visor so you won't be looking at any edges when you're in a different position. Now many of you will be wondering what about the SRL system? Well as you know there was a 1 and a 2 which are pretty much the same and a mesh system. Um, apparently there's going to be an adapter that you can add to the side of the helmet to use that system on the Neotech 3. So if you've just gone and bought an SRL system 1, 2 or mesh then you should be able to use that with the new Neotech 3. The new system is the SRL3 system and it will fit onto the Comlink preparation here. It is of course made by Sena just like the previous SRL systems were. Something that looks really promising is the way they have adjusted the plate around the sun visor mechanism. It looks like they've really integrated it into the shape of the helmet and just by looking at it now it looks like it is much more streamlined than on the Neotech 2 although I don't have them side by side but it does look a lot better. And if we flip the helmet upside down, we can see the stainless steel ratchet as you would expect from Shoei, um, but it has been adjusted because the material here feels softer than on the previous Neotech and it is much slimmer. Previously when I was riding with the Neotech 2, I decided after a few weeks that I would need to replace the chin strap for a double D system, which is possible with Shoei. But with this one, I'm hoping that it's not going to be necessary. I'll let you know when we go out for a ride later. Opening up the lid we have of course the PJ homologation, it has two notches that it clicks into place so it's legal to ride around with the helmet as a open face helmet um, and also the sun visor we were just talking about is a little bit longer than it was on the Neotech 2 which I'm really happy about because for my liking it was a little bit too short, you know just by a little bit. 
As I mentioned before, this helmet is not a revolutionary new design, but it is an improved version of the Neotech 2, which was already a great helmet. Don't worry if you just picked one of those up, or if you still want to pick one of those up for a good price, which is possible right now. Um, this one is going to be around for a, a while to come yet, and I'm sure it's going to serve as well just as the Neotech 2 did. Anyway, without further ado, let's just go out for a ride and see what it does. Alright then, off we go. For this test ride I'm using my own bike, which is my trusty Kawasaki Z750S from 2006. It has a small windshield so I'm always fully enjoying a lot of wind. But let's flip the sun visor down because it's very sunny and immediately what I'm noticing is that the extra 5mm of length they've given to the sun visor is noticeable and that's easy for me to say because I've been using the Neotech 2 for many years now. It's actually a really hot day today, around 30 degrees Celsius and I'd just like to say that the jacket I'm wearing for this test ride is also a new jacket and it's called the Dainese Ignite Air Jacket. It's doing a very good job of keeping me cool, even though it's quite a hot and humid day. Now, when one talks about wearing comfort when it comes to a helmet, it's kind of difficult to say because for me personally, Shoei is a really good fit. Now, that might not always be the case for your head shape, but we do offer the Shoei personal fitting system, which is something that allows us to adjust the inner lining of your helmet, to adjust the center pad and to custom fit it to your head, making it a much better fit for many, many people. So helmet fit wise I would say it's comparable to the Neotech 2, of course all the padding is new so it feels tighter, um, which is the way it should be, a new helmet should always feel tight and should never be too comfortable, um, but basically it's, it's very comparable to the Neotech 2 I find in the way of the shape and the comfort. The lining of course as always is made from premium materials, feels soft, feels pleasant and what I can tell you from my experience with the previous Neotech is that the lining keeps very well as well as long as you take care of it, give it a wash now and again and of course don't leave it in your damp shed. I don't have a lot of things to say about this helmet for speeds under 100 km an hour. As you would expect it behaves pleasantly, it's stable, it doesn't yank at your head. Um, it's more the speeds above 100 km an hour that I'm interested in and uh, the Neotech 2 uh, did a good job at that I thought already. Um, when I tested the NXR and the NXR2 I was obviously quite surprised with how light and how small those helmets were. Now you're not going to get that with a flip up helmet, not even with an AGV Sport Modular or anything like that. I mean modular helmets are generally just a bit heavier, a bit bigger um, and although the aerodynamics are very good on the Neotech 3 it's still a modular helmet. So if you want to go racing, if you want to go bombing it down the motorway then you're probably better off looking at a full face helmet. Unless you have a big windscreen because in that case you're not going to have the same problem that I do on my naked bike with a very small windscreen. Um, I'm always at the eye of the storm to be honest. So considering that the helmet performs well, what I was especially happy with to experience with this helmet is that when I look to the left, look to the right, um, that the helmet doesn't whistle anymore. Because the Neotech 2 had the tendency to whistle a little bit at both sides, especially when looking round. Now that is something that this helmet doesn't do at all in my experience riding with it. It's very pleasant and I think it might be down to the new plates at the side of the helmet, the one that contains the sun visor switch. Another thing I really want to shout about is the improved chin strap and I can tell you it has been improved. The slimmer strap and new positioning makes it much more comfortable to wear uh, and of course because it's made from stainless steel it's still a very strong and safe retention system and a great alternative to the double D rings. Well now we've come to a point where we have to discuss something that is a little controversial. As with any helmet people are going to be asking how quiet is it? And as I've said before there is not a helmet on the market that will protect your ears sufficiently if you want to keep using them for a long time so remember that please. Get yourself some custom earplugs, I myself am a musician and I really really like my ears, would like to keep them for a long time and I would advise everybody to do the same. 
Now this doesn't mean that I don't think the helmet has a low noise level because I do think it has a low noise level. In fact, I think this helmet is pretty much about as quiet as they come, but it does depend on how well the helmet will sit on your head if you pick the right size and of course the type of bike and riding position you're using. I can't say that this helmet is much quieter than the Neotec 2 and if it is it's pretty marginal but what I can say is that it doesn't whistle anymore so there are actually things that have been improved to the shell of this helmet that in my case in my situation have created a better and lower noise level. To be fair I think that the improved ventilation system with small vents on top and a different type of vent on the front have probably added to this as well. And I'm really happy with that because on the previous Neotech I remember opening the chin vent and hearing quite a lot of noise every time I used it, which always sort of discouraged me from using it, to be fair. Showy are calling the Neotech 3 the perfect companion for two-wheeled exploration. And as long as they're talking about motorbikes, then they're probably right, because this helmet will do the job on pretty much any bike. Is it the cheapest helmet? Not really. Is it the only helmet available to you? Not at all. Is it the best modular helmet available? Quite possibly so. Either way, you're gonna need a helmet and if you've got the money to spend, then this helmet is definitely worth it and will last you for years as long as you take care of it. The road is not a comfortable place to lie down and I can tell you that from experience. If your head hits the deck, it's gonna need a good lid. And it's often not going to be your fault, it's going to be some knobhead, can we say knobhead? Yeah, we can say that. It's going to be some knobhead who's playing with his phone or is paying attention to something else or maybe even intoxicated while driving. Thank you for watching my road test review of the new Neotech 3 helmet. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope that it gives you an idea of my opinion on the helmet. If you want to check out this helmet, then head over to fortomoto.com where you can see all the colours, all the prices and of course you can order it straight away. We have it in stock so you can get it from us right now. Thanks for watching again. Give us a thumbs up, give us a like, give us a subscribe, all that kind of stuff. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. And for now, thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time. Cheerio.